In this example, we are going to use guides, grid, and snapping to create a little comic strip. Imagine for a moment that you have a video game, and at the start, you want to give the player a little background on the story, but you don't have the budget to create a cinematic. So what you are going to do is make a few panels for a comic strip that will give the player enough information to know what his goal is in the game. So here I have a panel from David Revoir from his webcomic Pepper and Carrot. You can find the link in the description. I have a row scan of a drawing and I want to straighten it. That's the first use we'll get from the guides. A very simple use case, but a very common one as well. So I have the grid and guides panel in here and I'm going to ensure that show guides is checked. Then I'm dragging a horizontal guide at the top of my drawing and you can see that the top of the page isn't aligned with my horizontal reference line. So I'm going to press Ctrl T to transform the image and I'm going to rotate it slightly, then move it and ensure that the guide and the top edge of the page are aligned. I can then double check that the image is straight by dragging a vertical guide on the right side of the image. Okay, this is working. Another use case for the guides is with your game assets in general. You can use them as visual references to ensure that your characters are straight. This is the case in here. You can see that although the character has a somewhat dynamic pose, it is balanced. It is standing well on its feet and it has a proper weight repartition with his big head in the front and the arm in the back. Same thing for the tree, it's not purely symmetrical, but you can see that overall the shapes on either side tend to balance it. Coming back to our straightened drawing, I'm going to crop it so that I only have the drawing inside of the image. To do that, we're going to use the crop tool, this one. You can press the C key to access it quickly. And with Shift S, I'm going to activate the guide snapping. I click on the document once to toggle the crop mode on. And I'm going to lock the guides so that we don't accidentally move one of the guides. Then, as snap to guides is on, the crop tool will automatically snap to the guides on the right and on the top side of the canvas. And then I'm going to crop a little bit of that horizontally to only keep the drawing in there. You just have to press enter to validate the change and you are left with your drawing. We can now use it to create our comic strip. On our comic strip, we are going to have two frames. The first one will be this panel, the exterior view of the house. And the second one will be one of these, um, an interior view of Pepper's house. So first things first, we have to check that the scan is straight. That's the case in here. So we don't have any work to do with that. And we are going to roughly cut the frames. So to do that, we press Ctrl R to select the rectangular selection tool. We make a selection on our background layer and then press Ctrl X, Ctrl V to cut the image to a new layer. I then select the background again. I can press R and click on the background, grab the second panel, press Ctrl X, Ctrl V to cut it to a new layer. Again, I R click on the background, make a rectangular selection in here with that little drawing that can be used as a banner at the bottom of the page. Press Ctrl X, Ctrl V. And then I press Ctrl Shift A to deselect everything. Now we have our three panels available individually. And I'm going to save the document to a Krita file as we are going to reuse those three layers in our final comic panel. So I press save and done. All right, it's time to move on to creating our composition. This is what we are looking to achieve. It's not perfect by any means, but it's a good exercise to use the grid, guides, and snapping. 
I'm going to close it to go to my cleaned up folder where I have the panels we will use on our page. So that's the first thing. And then in my source folder, I have a document called source document. You can find them along with the video. This document is quite simple. It's just an empty document with a 40 pixels by 40 pixels grid and a group called page in which we will put our panels. So why a 40 by 40 grid? Simply because it's an A4 document with 150 pixels per inches. The width is of 1240 pixels, which can be divided by 40. You can see that a major grid line falls onto this edge of the page. Now what we are going to do, first of all, is to create a gutter around the edges of our documents. So I go to the guides, ensure that show guides is checked. I've toggled the rulers on. You can see that I assigned the Shift R keyboard shortcut to that, but by default you have none. I'm just going to press Shift S and ensure that I'm snapping to the grid. Then I'll drag a guide, count two cells and release. You can see the little orange line that's coming out of the document that tells me that I do have a guide in there. So I have my four guides in here that create some kind of gutter around the edges of the document. The bottom one isn't perfect, but that will do the trick for this example. I'm then going to lock my guides so that we can't select them accidentally and check snap to guides. You could also do Shift S and Snap to Guides that way. All right, we have a base to start working. Now we've got to import our images in the document. To do that, you have to right click on the layer, click on Copy Layer, go back to your other document and click on Paste Layer. Another way to import JPEG images or PNG images in a document is just to drag and drop them on top of Krita and you can insert one picture as a new layer. We're going to do that with the logo. We're going to select our two pictures, we drag and drop them on the document and we can now insert many layers. This will insert every single picture as an individual layer in that case. Now we want our panels to be imported as individual layers. In that case, we go to our document, right click on the layers, we select them all, click on copy layer, go back to our panel demo, right click on the group, paste layer, and we will have our three panels in there. So let's now decide what we will do with that panel. First of all, I want a view of the house at the top. I do want the logo and I'd like another panel. Let's pick this one. So we want these three plus the colored logo. 